The masses of people with hope to teach a person to dream and reach. The masses of people with hope to teach a person to dream and reach. The masses of people with hope to teach a person to dream and reach. Hello, this is a tutorial to show you how to use the Edge Warp template that reacts to music. You can find the download in the description below. Hopefully it still works by the time you're watching this. So once you've downloaded it, you'll see this folder. Go inside there, double click on the project. It looks a bit like that. And then it should look something like this. Then I recommend saving it as something else in case you need to go back to the original. So yeah, just type something in there. Uh, and just save. Go into your Premiere sequence. If you're not editing in Premiere, um, export the clip you want to apply the After Effects template to, and then you can import that into After Effects and then import it back into Final Cut or whatever you're using. But if you're in Premiere, find the clip you want to use in the sequence, uh, duplicate that. So now you've got two of them. Cut the music just for that clip because we're going to need the music for the edge warping to react to. Select both of those with shift click. Replace with After Effects Composition. Then it should pop up in here. There it is. So we've got the music and clip there. Um, if it's an HD project, click HD template. If it's a 4K, click 4K. If you can't see those for some reason, um, you can go into the project window and find them in templates. We're HD, so we're just going to copy some stuff over to our new linked comp. So if you control click the colored labels, that's controller, motion blur, and warp edges. And you need to select it from top to bottom, otherwise it pastes it the wrong way around for some reason. Just copy those, go into your linked comp, paste that in. If you want to see what the layers are called, click source name. Cool. Next thing to do is we need some keyframes created out of the music. So right click that, the music layer, keyframe assistant, convert to audio keyframes. And then you've got this new layer called audio amplitude. Let's create a load of keyframes reacting to the amplitude. Then, um, yeah, click controller. Go FX controls is showing. And then here you can see how much we want the edges to warp and then motion blur. So to definitely see some edges warping, I'll put it on full and then just scroll through so we can see a bit where the music gets louder, such as a kick or bass hit. I'll just put it on lower resolution for now. Whoop, there it is. So you see if I move the slider down, there's less going on there. So that's hitting on the loud part of the music. So when you play it through, which we'll do in a sec, you'll see it's getting louder on like usually when their kick hits or snare or the bass comes in. Um, if you want to add motion blur as well, you click this box and usually if you keep an eye on the edges, you'll see how it changes when I click this. So it gives a bit of motion blur, which takes it makes it a lot longer to render, but makes it look a bit cooler. Save that. Go into Premiere. You see it's turned pink there because it's a linked um, clip. And uh, yeah, let's speed through a render on that and have a look. Cool, let's have a little look. The masses of people with hope to teach a person to dream and reach. The masses of people with hope to teach a person to dream and reach. The masses of people with hope to teach a person to dream and reach. The masses. Cool, looks pretty good to me. If you, so, if you want to change it or tweak it, um, make the edges maybe a bit more subtle. You can go back in, turn it down a bit, save, and then it'll update in Premiere. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, let us know if you used it in your edit. Um, paste the link to the video. Love to see it. Yeah, like and subscribe if you found this useful. And uh, have a nice day. Goodbye. Blah, blah, blah.